Hello, welcome to this Landsweeper end of life video where today I'll be covering the Microsoft Visio life cycle and end of life status. So you can find out when your Visio products will be going end of life and you can make sure that all the installations that will be going end of life are updated and upgraded to a newer version. So you're always running a supported version of Visio. Now to do this, we're gonna head into Landsweeper and show you the report itself. So here in Landsuper, I'm in the reports area where if I head over to the security category and then lifecycle, I'll get an overview of all of the reports that are there that have to do with lifecycle. Obviously this time around, I'm interested in Microsoft Visio. So I'm gonna open the Microsoft Video, Visio end of life audit. That will give me an overview of all of my Visio installations that are in my IT network. Um, and along with details such as when that end of life will take place, how many days are remaining, uh, things like the publisher, the software version, which is obviously important for this specific scenario, um, and additional details there as well. If you do want more information, you can always click through on an asset and get all the hardware, software, um, and user information that you might need about a specific device. Now, if you want to Grab this report, all you need to do is, if you already have Landsweeper, you can head over to your Landsweeper site and take a look there. You'll be able to find this report already available for you. Um, if you do not have Landsweeper yet, you can actually go over to our website and start the your, your free trial, and you'll be able to try this out with your own data as well and get an overview for your specific scenario for your specific IT environment to find out which versions are you running, when will it be going end of life um, and, and how long do you have remaining. Uh, so you can start planning your migrations as well just before the actual end of life happens so that you're not stuck with versions that are potentially out of date and pose a security risk to your environment. So with that, I think I've covered everything here and I'll see you in the next video.